Welcome to Precision Weigh-In Balances. Today we'd like to show you this is the A&D GP20K High Capacity Balance. This balance offers 21,000 grams by a tenth of a readability. You'll notice the very large platform. This platform measures a 13.5 by 15.2. You can see the performance of the balance. It's a high capacity industrial balance. This would be used in a materials testing lab. And so we have some calibration weights and I'm just trying to throw them on here to give you an idea of the response time and the performance. Um, this scale is backed with a five year limited manufacturer's warranty. The unit weighs about 35 pounds. Um, it comes with this little um, plastic shield to protect the indicator and so this is the indicator. The indicator arm can be raised to many different levels and it's adjustable on an angle. So we'll show you that in a little bit. I just wanted to give you a brief description of the product. So this particular model again is 21,000 grams by a tenth of a gram. It's built on A&D's Hallmark uh, S. HS technology which stands for super hybrid sensor and the super hybrid sensor is basically a cross between a load cell and a magnetic force restoration balance. The display is on a swing arm for this particular model. A&D does have several other models where the indicator itself is separate on a stand. If you do buy the GP20K or any of the units that have the swing arm they really can never be dismantled and separate uh, the indicator from the swing arm. So there are five models that have the detachable indicator. Uh, those models would be the GP30KS, the GP32KS, the GP60KS, the GP61, and the GP100KS. So you'll notice here this is the GP20K. So if it has an S, then the S version has a detachable indicator. Uh, the swing arm, again, you can raise this to just about any level uh, at a 90 degree level, so it's out of the way. And as you rotate it, the indicator itself has several positions. I don't know, there's about seven positions. So this is ideal if you're using, in the aggregate industry, for example, they're dealing with rocks. Uh, they, they, they sift the rocks out. They're trying to figure out what size rocks are in a, a load of gravel. And so having the indicator up in the air like this lessens the chance of you crushing that indicator. A lot of times these guys have 10 pound trays of stone. And so that's the beauty about this design. This design has been around for a long time. The prior model to the GP series was the HP series, which was extremely popular. The difference now, the GP has the internal calibration. The unit always needs to be ran off an AC adapter, and the AC adapter is plugged in on the side of the indicator. Um, we'll turn the unit around in a minute so I can show you that. But anyways, uh, for calibration weights, these are all ASTM. These are class 2 weights, and you can see the performance of the scale. The tray itself is removable for easy cleaning. It's a real nice heavy duty stainless steel platform and you'll notice beneath here the base itself. These are all sealed. So this unit is IP65 rated. The IP65 means that it is uh, dust tight so if you're in a dusty environment, a gravel pit or something like that, no dust is going to enter this unit. And it's protected against water jets. So you can spray this down with water. Not a direct spray, but spray it, wash it down. You'd have no problem. The unit is completely sealed. So this is IP65 rated. And again, nice large stainless steel platform. And you'll notice here, it just uh, the platform sits on these four points. So put that back on. Um, Let's talk about some of the features here on this indicator. I think if I lower this down, it's a little bit better. Um, the indicator itself, you'll notice we have a half a dozen buttons here in the front. 
So you have internal calibration, and we'll do that in a few minutes, but I first want to throw some weights on just to give you an idea. Some of these features. So we have the mode button here. And if you press the mode button, we can scroll through the way modes. So you notice here in the right of the corner, it says G for grams. If I press the mode button once, we're in kilograms. So now we just switched it over to kg. If I press it again, this is piece count. Then we have percent mode. Percent mode would be used, for example, if you're a silt screen shop and you're mixing uh, plastisol inks. This scale would be ideal for it, especially the large platform. You can put on a five-gallon bucket with no problem. Press the mode button again. We have ounces. Then we go to pounds. This is uh, pound colon ounces. Troy ounces. Now a lot of people in the precious metals industry, especially uh, if they're doing Troy, if they're doing um, sterling silver, this would be an ideal balance. Although none of the GP series are legal for trade, a lot of people, a lot of basically refiners will buy this balance to weigh out their metals before they send it off to be refined to make sure they're not getting gypped. So we have troy ounces here, press it again, we have carrots, and this would be mummies, we have penny weight, again, extremely popular weight mode for the jewelry industry, penny weight, and then we're back to, uh, this is kilograms, and then we're back to grams. Now the beauty about the A&D is you can scroll through these weight modes versus we sell Mettler, uh, the high capacity balance for the jewelry industry. We also sell the Sartorius high capacity. With both those units, you can toggle between two way units, and each time you have to go in and configure the balance. You have to pull out your manual, figure out what the codes are. The beauty of A and D is you can just press the mode button and scroll through each one of them. Now the next button over is the sample key, and also it allows you to drop the last decimal place. So you'll notice here it says 4000.1. Sometimes people, they don't want to see that last decimal place. It fluctuates. So if you press this button once, you'll notice now it reads 4000 grams. So you don't have to see that last decimal place. And it's a lot more stable to weigh in results. And you can see I have some test weights here. And balance is quick. It's a, it's a response, quick response time. And now to go back over to a tenth of a gram, you press the button one more time, and there we are. We have 7,000 grams. Then we have the print button. The print button would be if you want to send data to a printer, and you'd have to buy the A and D printer, or if you wanted to export the data to a PC, you just connect your serial cable to your PC. And then we have the re-zero key. So the functionality of the balance is very simple to do and in addition if you notice beneath the balance we have a little card here which is really nice. So for an operator that might forget how to operate the scale which is very basic there is a little card here and gives you examples of how to do that. So that's a nifty feature that um, is pretty unique to the A and D line. So, here's a little card there. So, I want to show you how to do a calibration internally. So, to do an internal calibration, it's just simply zero the balance. And one just presses the cal key. And when I press it, we'll hear the servo motor. You'll notice it says cal and it's going out and it's storing the value because in the top left hand corner of this arrow it's storing the parameters the calibration and then it says end and it will go right back to zero so calibration is simply a press of the button now if you want to do external calibration it's a little bit more complicated and you have to have those weights so let me just show you how to do an external calibration. I want to put this guy down here. So to do a calibration 
using external masses, and anybody that's ISO 9001 or uh, 17025, you're going to have to do calibration externally, so they are calibrated to a traceable standard. To do so, you want to press and hold down the Cal key. And you're going to see Cal in, and then you're going to see Cal out, and then you'll see... I held down the button too long, so let me just go through. It's doing the motorized internal calibration. So we'll just let it do the calibration. Okay. So it just finished the internal. I want to do an external calibration. So to do an external calibration, you hold down the cal button until you see cal out, then you release. And so you'll see here it says Cal Zero. So it's looking for the reference voltage um, with a load applied to the platform with nothing there. So what one simply does is uh, you can change, on, on all the A and Ds, you can change the uh, weight that you're going to use for calibration. Some models have up to four different choices. On this particular model, the GP, you have two choices. You can either calibrate it with 10 kilogram, or you can calibrate it with 20 kilogram. So if you basically press the sample key right here, you'll see it says flashes 10,000. I set it up to 10,000. The factory default is 20. So why don't we just press the zero key, and it switches to 20. I have 10 kilogram worth of weight, so I'm going to switch it back to 10 kg. And so I have it at 10 kg, and now I have to store it. So you hit the print key, and we're back to Cal Zero. Now I'm going to store the value. So I hit the print key, and you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, that arrow there, it's storing the parameter. And now it shows 10 kg. So one simply puts on 10 kilograms of weight. So this is a 4 kg, 2 kg, 2 kg. So I have six, uh, three of the 2 kg and one 4 to make 10 kg. And then one simply presses the print button again. And you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, that arrow, so it's storing the parameters. It says Cal N. One simply removes the weights. And the balance goes to zero. And I put on a weight. Calibration is done. So that's how simple calibration is. Now let me try to turn this model, uh, turn this unit, so that you can get some idea. This is a big, big unit. I'm going to try to turn it on the side here, so you can get an idea of just how big this unit is. Okay. So we have here. You'll notice the power cable gets plugged into the indicator. And they supply you with two clamps. And these clamps would hold down the power cable along the side of the indicator. So this is IP65 rated. So when you put the unit in, you really have to push hard all together. Um, you also have an RS-232 interface here. And you'll notice this unit is all sealed. So it's dust and water resistant. And if I do this guy... Right in here is the serial connection. Okay, and there's a plate. And one really has to like pull it out. So anyways, there's an RS-232 in here. I'll probably need a small screwdriver to actually open up the cover because it's all sealed all together. But, um, But anyways, um, that's not going to work. But there's an RS-232 serial connection right there. So let me just keep on going on and show you some more of the features of this balance. If I lift the unit up, um, beneath the balance you'll see we have four adjustable feet. So that's for easy leveling. On the very bottom of the balance, I don't know if you can see this right here, but on the very, very bottom of the unit, we have the underhook. So the underhook is used for... 
uh, specific gravity, and you do have to buy the underhook. It is an option. It costs about $150, but that goes right on the bottom of the balance. So that underhook is very, very popular for the uh, materials testing lab for doing specific gravity. You can see this unit. This is all like a cast aluminum. The unit itself weighs, I believe, about 37 pounds um, is the weight of it. And when we ship these, the box is about 44 pounds, and it's in a large shipping box, 30 by 20 by, I believe, 14. So this is a real heavy-duty industrial balance. Again, four adjustable feet, so for easy leveling. On the back of the balance, uh, wow, this unit is heavy. On the back of the balance, you'll see you have a sprint level to adjust the uh, balance itself for easy leveling. And you have this little lock here. This lock here is for locking in the swing arm wherever you want so it doesn't move. So again, on the swing arm, we can put this swing arm basically all the way back if you wanted to, way, way back here. So this is a unique feature again. Only A&D has this swing arm feature. Uh, it's a real nice uh, feature so that you don't crush the indicator. So basically, this is the A&D GP series. This is the industrial balance. Um, just real quickly, it does have, we mentioned, motorized internal calibration. It has the RS-232 interface, which I can't open up this cover for you right now. Or, oh, there it is. So I was able to open it. So if you look right here, you have an RS-232 25-pin. You would plug your cable in. Again, you'll see all of the, uh, the plastic or rubber grommet all the way around to prevent water. That's where your power goes, so that's a real nice feature. Um, the balance also has a, it has a uh, percent mode, comparative feature if you're doing any kind of fill-in application of buckets. Uh, we talked about the multiple wave modes. Uh, we spoke about the underhook. So that's it. This is the A&D GP20K. This unit comes with a five-year limited manufacturer's warranty. We are precision weighing balances, and you can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. And these are always in stock and uh, highly recommended. If you have any questions before ordering, give us a call. Thank you for your time.